Well, today, Charlotte City Council continued their retreat up in Durham. They are tackling several important topics like safety, the budget, and much more. One of today's topics, though, transportation. As the Queen City continues to grow, how can leaders make sure people can get where they need to go and do it in a safe manner? NBC Charlotte's Hunter Signs is live in Durham today. So, Hunter, what did local leaders have to say? Oh, they had a lot to say, Sarah and Fred. Today, they created short-term, medium-term, and long-term goals when it comes to transportation. Some could take a matter of months, others a matter of years. They range from having a car-free uptown to free public transportation, but one mode of transportation was a top priority. City leaders steering ahead on transportation with a high priority on busing. We've been very focused on light rail, We've been very focused on affordable housing. Now we've got to get focused on buses. Mayor Pro Tem Julie Eisold is the chair of the Transportation Committee. She would like to see the bus system become more dependable and efficient, driving more people to use them. We've got to invest in our bus system to make it efficient and make people want to use it and, and for everyone. It's lacking. Um, it's, it's not dependable. But Councilman Tarek Bakari urging council to think about the technological advancements in transportation. Autonomous ride share is something that could completely disrupt how we think about moving people around town. He fears investing in old modes of transportation. That is one of my biggest concerns, that we go down and place the biggest bet, arguably, in this city's history um, on something like fixed light rail. Council members believe they both can coexist, but the ultimate factor will depend on funding. Uh, have staff come back to us with numbers of what we're really talking about. Yeah. To get bus pickup times to every 15 minutes, CATS would need $32 million per year and at least 100 more buses. But more costs do depend on what type of buses they will want to invest in, depending on diesel, electric, or others. Of course, these are just goals that council members have come up with. We will have to see what the actions play out throughout the year. Reporting live in Durham, Hunter Signs, NBC Charlotte. Hunter, thank you.